All right, all right, all right. Today, we're going to be talking about Mac rumors, popular demand. The Mac people are getting some love. All right, today, we're going to be talking about Mac rumors. In particular, we're going to be addressing the 16-inch fabled MacBook Pro. That's right. It is rumored there's going to be a brand spanking new 16-inch supercomputer coming out with no bezels. Personally, the bezels on the MacBook Pro, they're not that bad. The IMAX is the one that needs to be improved. However, I'm letting you know here today, we're going to be putting our research caps on and I'm going to be presenting the case for the 16-inch MacBook Air. Hear me out because I'm making this stuff up on the spot, but I will validate it. The 16-inch MacBook Pro sounds like a good idea, but the problem is right now, there is no components for it. When we went from the 2018 MacBook Pro to the 2019 MacBook Pro, it went from 6 cores to 8 cores. 17 to 18 went from 4 cores to 6 cores. From 2019 to 2019 too, what are we going to put inside it? We can't put in another 9th gen CPU because this is the best you can get. And Intel, they're not doing a 10th gen that's compatible with these MacBook Pros until 2020 at the very least. Very least. So the only potential we have is a Xeon mobile CPU just announced, not even released yet, pricing unavailable. The problem with that is it only has eight cores. It's eight cores. You're telling me I'm going to go from an eight core beast to an eight core beast and I'm going to have to pay extra for ECC memory? I don't think so. I don't think they're going to do that. Maybe AMD will give us Navi seven nanometer GPUs. That is a possibility, although they're a bit stretched thin at the moment, all this kind of stuff, but that is a possibility. So maybe we might get upgraded graphics put it in a 16-inch bezel, and we'll be happy as Larry spending extra money for that 16-inch MacBook Pro. However, however, hear me out. Today, Intel just announced their 10th generation mobile CPUs already, and this is the low power ones, the ones that go between nine watts to 26 watts, the ones that can fit in a MacBook Air, which currently goes at 7.5 watts, and a 13-inch MacBook Pro. So I'm going to tell you the reason why I think there's going to be a 16-inch MacBook Air, not Pro. Hear me out. A couple of months ago, the rumor was a new MacBook Air was being released with scissor switch keys. That's right. The butterfly keyboards are dead. I'm actually getting my 2018 refunded because it's got a crappy butterfly keyboard. That's why I switched over to 2019, which will probably break. But anyway, the scissor switch keys is going in the MacBook Air. That was the rumor. Recently, the rumor was the 16-inch MacBook, the new one coming out, the 16-inch MacBook Pro, it's also getting the scissor switch keys. What if the 16 inch was actually the MacBook Air? This 16 inch MacBook Air, it can fit the nine watt 10 gen CPU that was just announced. It's got a slight bump in the CPU, but the good thing about the 10th gen CPUs is that it actually has twice as fast graphics. The graphics have improved a lot, which means you can have a high res, bigger screen than was before. And traditionally, Apple, they always release their Macs and their products in pairs. They have multiple screen sizes. So when the MacBook Air first came out, it had an 11 inch and it had a 13 inch option. But today we only get two 13 inches. You got an iMac, you get a 24 inch and a 27 inch. You go in the MacBook Pro, you get a 13 inch and a 15 inch. I'm thinking about it. I'm going crazy here because that's what I do. I'm letting you know that I think we're getting an Air 16 inch let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited about it? I kinda am. Sounds like a super computer, a super duper computer, and hopefully next year we'll get 16 inches everything, and maybe Apple will sort us out and get rid of the bezels off everything, and we'll go crazy, we'll have some fun, and we'll buy them all.